Good afternoon Philippines, this is Mike Pado once again and we are now giving you the latest tropical weather analysis for this Wednesday to Friday, December 2 to 4, 2020 and we no longer will issue the uh, LPA 95W update since the LPA has just been downgraded into a shallow LPA. So this English version is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Here is the graph set, this latest from uh, December 2 today until tomorrow, December 3. Here we go, this is the uh, once LPA 95W downgraded into a shallow low pressure area as it moves across the coastal areas of the Bicol region. So we could still expect some cloudy conditions with uh, rain showers and thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon or evening. Uh, but tomorrow morning there could be some sunshine, uh, just like we we experienced uh, this morning. And together with this shallow is the uh, fluff extending all the way down to Visayas, being some uh, isolated thunderstorms as well. And the northeast monsoon has begun to retreat, and it's only affecting uh, the northern and central parts of Luzon. Although some cloudiness can still reach Metro Manila and other parts of southern Luzon and Mindoro. But the winds are just concentrated concentrated here across the Cagayan Valley area, the northern coastal areas, particularly extreme northern parts of Luzon, including the Batanes and the Babuyan Cuba Islands. Together with the uh, combined effects of the tail end of a frontal system, so there could be some rains and thunderstorms as well across these areas. The winds of the northeast monsoon has gone down up to 65 kph gust, so still... The uh, seas around the uh, Luzon area will be rough and dangerous to all types of sea crafts as well as here across the uh, Visayan Sea. Okay, now let's move uh, outside of PAR. We have another LPA forming near the equator. This is once the uh, surface trough. It's now LPA 96W, but it has a lower chances of developing in the tropical cyclone with the next 24 hours. That's less than 35%. And its trough is affecting the Republic of Palau and the southern portions of the Philippine Sea. So, uh, this system for the next 24 hours will move towards the north very slowly and will slightly intensify. The computer models are split on the uh, progress or development of this LPA. I'm going to show it to you later on, but we are going to watch another LPA right now here to the south of the, uh, to the south of Yap. Okay, that's 96W. So far, that's the latest. From our graph set, as we look at our fast animation, so here we go, some building uh, thunderstorms surrounding that uh, weak low level circulation of the shallow LPA, part of the uh, normal or diurnal process in the afternoon, some thunderstorms forming uh, early uh, this morning around or last night between 10 to 3 a.m. We could hear some very... Uh, extended uh, thunderstorm claps, okay, or thunder claps generated by these uh, rain bands of this LPA. So it brought rainfall last night across the Bicol region, but so far right now it's uh, getting better. So here comes this LPA 96W, we're going to uh, for observe that in the coming days. As we look at our zoom in satellite animation, there you go, some uh, developing thunderstorms near the shallow LPA moving across Catanduanes and the eastern and southern portions of the Bicol region including Sur Sagon and Albay and portions of Camarini Sur. So expect some light to moderate to at times rain, uh, heavy rainfall uh, by these localized thunderstorms within the uh, LPA. And uh, across the Visayas, there are many uh, thunderstorms forming brought about by the trough all the way up to the area of Sulu Archipelago and western Mindanao, while localized thunderstorms can also be observed across most parts of Mindanao. So you can see here, across the extreme northern parts of the zone, the strong winds of the uh, Amihan or the uh, northeast monsoon penetrating across the northern and central portions of the south. China Sea. Okay, so that's the latest from our uh, Zoom in satellite animation. Here's the latest uh, windy.com premium forecast for the next two days from ECMWF. 
by tomorrow morning, you could see some improving weather across the Bicol region, but some thunderstorms and rainfall over Cagayan Valley, brought about by the northeast monsoon and the tail end of a frontal system. And on Thursday afternoon, still the thunderstorm activity prevails over Cagayan Valley with some chances of thunderstorms across Metro Manila, Southern Tagalog Provinces, Santa Luzon, Bicol Region, Visayas, and Mindanao in the afternoon. And on Friday morning, in some areas of the Philippines, we'll still have some thunderstorms and rain. Uh, so we can see here, for the for next two days, it's gonna, gonna be a rain event over Cagayan Valley, so please take all necessary precautions. Uh, for possible flash floods and landslides over Cagayan Valley, particularly Isabela and Eastern Cagayan. And uh, good weather across uh, various parts of the uh, Philippine Islands except for the Calamian Group and Sibuyan Sea. But in the afternoon, Friday afternoon, uh, Friday afternoon, Again, some possible thunderstorms will be expected in most parts of the country, particularly Bicol Region, Central Luzon, and Northern and Western Mindanao. Okay, so that's the latest for a 3 day forecast. If we are going to uh, look into the progress of this LPA 96W, let's take a look at GFS model. The uh, I call this the uh, exaggerated model when it comes to long-range forecast of I mean medium to long-range forecast of tropical cyclones uh, Saturday there you go the LPA over Yap then uh, Sunday entering par Monday December 7 over the South Philippine Sea Tuesday December 8 it will be approaching the eastern coast of Bicol December 9 Possible as a uh, active LPA or tropical depression, December 9, passing close to Catanduanes, December 10, approaching Central Luzon. So this forecast is not yet uh, uh, accurate. Okay, it tends to change every six hours, but if we look and if we uh, double check using the ECMWF, there's nothing. Okay, the LPA here, although it also says an LPA 96W, for the next three days it will dissipate and all the way until December 8, 9, there's nothing. So that's uh, a slight good news for us. So let's hope and pray that the ECMWF will not follow on what the American model is saying so let's hope and pray this will be uh, the forecast for the next few days so that's it that's the latest for this uh, Wednesday afternoon and we will be returning again on Friday to give you more tropical weather analysis here at Typhoon 2000 Mr. Typhoon YouTube page this is Mike Padua. Stay safe always. Be hashtag weatherwiser, hashtag uh, typhoonwiser. And thank you so much for watching our channel. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for the latest update on the weather and tropical cyclones. Good day to all and God bless.